Hello, I'm Tripwire, and welcome back to Demon Souls Remake. I haven't moved a goddamn muscle since I stopped recording the last episode. All I well, that's not true. I, I had to move a muscle to click the mouse. I did just verify that that last uh, episode, the audio sounded good and the video looked good, and then I clicked start recording again, and here we are. We are going to head down and open up that gate for uh, just easier access to the rest of this area. Uh, but also, we just need to push on forward here because we are going to be shorting... Sh shorting? <laughs> Fuck you, brain. Um, now I'm trying to figure out what I was even trying to say. What happened there? What I, what I wanted... What, what I was getting at is that we're going to be fighting Penetrator in short order. And I somehow took the ing from fighting and put short on the front of it. Like, how, how the fuck does that happen, right? Like, it's just so dumb. Also, this is not working. I'm just gonna... I don't need to use magic for everything. <laughs> Killing these guys like this is way easier. Jeez. I'm falling apart. What happened? Alright, so anyway, this is the, the way forward here. It's just to uh, follow the path. You can't go anywhere else at this point. You have to follow this, this little narrow path. Here, however, there's a slight branch. Uh, but first things first, we'll go to the left and grab this item. And then if you look, you'll see two enemies waiting for you. We'll head down and dispatch them real quick. Fuck you. I just, I think what bothers me the most about those enemies is that it doesn't even look like they're ready to deal with you, but they still manage to block your attack and then hit you back. Alright, half moon grass. So, these two guys, it's hit or miss, whether they'll, they'll aggro. They aggro pretty regularly, pretty consistently, even with the Thief Ring. They are a little bit wonky, as you can see. I don't know how that didn't hit. Getting stuck on the railing. Um, but as you can see, we're now on the far side of the gate. The official is there laughing to himself like a madman. As one does when one is a madman. Aw, oh, he healed, and I'm out of magic. It's okay. Just gonna kill him anyway. Alright, so... You can just backstab this guy to start the fight. And as soon as you do, you'll notice... Our boy Estrava on the far side, dealing with some knights. He's kind of in a tough situation over there, so we're gonna... Quickly deal with this guy. And then open up the gate for him, and rescue him, again. Strava, for being the son of the king, kind of sucks. You know? Come on, Strava. So, he's like, thanks for rescuing me, and then he's like, uh, by the way, you don't mind dealing with these enemies, do you? Again, be careful, the Red-Eye Knights. They are relatively strong. Stone of Ephemeral Eyes, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, so we have opened up the gate. The gate will now permanently stay open. We have freed, not freed, saved our boy Strava. He's very grateful to us. Where, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. You saved my life. Damn right. This is the third time. I am truly indebted to you. This is... All now I must go. <laughs> I must go. Uh, do, do, you, do you think you could I'm, I'm just trying to get around you. You think you could move? This is the guy I was talking about. I want to do a playthrough with his sword and shield. They're called the rune shield and the rune sword. They look cool. And I believe they have magic damage on them. So this is the way forward to the boss, but there's one little side branch thing there. I, just, I said I was going to show you, so I'm going to go back and show you. So we'll encounter Estrava one more time now that we've finished his quest line. Where am I going? The wrong way, that's where. The wrong way. Alright, so you can come down this way instead if you want. You can deal with these archers. Thus making it so that when you're... Oh, I cannot believe I got hit by that. <laughs> On the lower section, you don't gotta worry about them. It's optional though. So we're gonna end up down here in a moment, so... I've never been hit by one of their bolts even when I don't kill them. They're just not that... Threatening. And an item. And an item. 
And if you want to, like, shoot or lob things down at these assholes from up here, feel free. Alright, so... Then, you can come down here, and it might seem like a dead end, but you can do the forward and circle thing to vault over. Alright, here we go. You dropped a steel shield for us, that's interesting. Considering it's not the shield he was using. Very strange. I don't know how he blocks that so effectively. He's a cheater, it's the only... The only explanation. Man, the thief ring is really good. <laughs> they still haven't seen me. That seems unlikely. Uh, I'm gonna save the aged spice. For those red eye knights up there. Another cutscene where we see the penultimate installment of the fat official running away from us. We'll see him one more time, briefly. I missed. I was just waiting for that bolt to go by, that's all. Later, dude. Alright, so now I'm gonna hit up some spice and then fuck these guys up with some magic. I wonder if this will hit all three of them. No, just one of them. Sad. The fact that I didn't break his guard again is kind of sad. <laughs> Did you see? <laughs> his weapon just flew out of his hands. Uh, I will say that the spear and shield wielding red eye knights are the most dangerous, so be careful here. Do not underestimate them. They have a very deadly charge attack where the spear will hit you multiple times as they kind of run you through, and it hurts a lot. Just listen to them breathe. I think they have asthma. I mean, I have asthma. Not fun. My asthma doesn't actually bother me anymore. It bothered me when I was a kid. I haven't actually had to use an inhaler. In a wow! The fucking moment I became vulnerable, that guy hit me. Gatekeeping me, bruh. Ow. Look at that garbage, dude. Yeah, that fucking sucks. That's... I would, I would classify that as a really bullshit death, because for one thing... I was right before the boss. Those were the last two enemies before the boss. And I don't think I deserve to die there. And but again, it's another it's another example of like enemies in this game have no limits placed on them, but you do. The guy has no limit to his stamina. He had no cooldown. He had just finished attacking me and staggered me, and then he immediately was able to do the combo that insta killed me. Like, what was I supposed to do? I I I'm very I'm very a little bit irritated about that. And I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I'm- why would I lie to you? I mean, you, you guys are watching my video, you don't have to do that, thanks. I'm gonna be honest, I'm glad I opened the gate at least. So now we just got shot at by an archer from above because we don't have the thief ring on. You guys suck. Not that I'm complaining. Um, I'm not gonna bother with the Stone of Ephemeral Eyes. Again, the Penetrator fight with Bjor's help is a cakewalk. We're just gonna... Hey, Strava. Thanks for nothing, dude. I've saved your life three fucking times. You couldn't help me with those knights? Jesus Christ, Estrava. The king should be ashamed to have you as a son. Wow, I'm going really hard on Estrava, huh? He doesn't deserve all that. No. No. Um... But yeah, just certain things like that. Like, that, that combo, it hits, like, three times. Or three or four times. And, uh... Even from full health, depending on, you know, your stats or whatever, that could be enough to kill you. Each one of those hits is very strong. But the fact that they can wind that up... ...mere frames after finishing a different attack that staggered you and made you vulnerable, that... 
It just seems like bad design. I'm gonna get hit by that. Oh, it went right over me. Lucky. Wow. You can see how much further away these guys are shooting at me because I don't have the thief ring on. The, bu the benefit of the thief ring is really incredible. Trying to save my magic. Ow. Let's not die again and waste everybody's time, shall we? Let's not do that. Oh my god. I can't believe that bolt hit me. That makes me sad. I want to despawn two of them. Or not despawn, but de-aggro two of them. <laughs> despawn. Holy fuck. I miss my thief ring. Dude, you're both still on me? Eat a dick. I would have de-aggroed so long ago if I had the thief ring. Look at that. Back to back charges. No cooldown. No nothing. Fucking bullshit enemy, dog. I can't believe they're both still on me. How long will they follow me for? Every enemy in every Souls game has a... a limit to how far away from where they spawn that they can wander. That guy's running back. It looks like he might even be going to f try to help kill a Strava whose health bar I think... What the fuck was that? That scared the shit out of me. Yeah, that was a Strava yelling. It was a Strava yelling, but it was like somehow amplified like he was inside of a fucking echo chamber. Good Christ. You trying to give me a heart attack? I've never had that happen before. That was insanely loud. I- that was so loud and jarring that I honestly thought that sound may have been coming from my computer somehow. <laughs> The sound just seems to be kind of wonky at the moment. I was able to hear this guy breathing from, like, really far away. Alright, we're through it, though. We've come out the other side. A better man. Alright, and there's one more archer left. Thou shalt not get the best of me. You son of a bitch. Alright. Jeez, sorry about that. I shouldn't have died there. Uh, that was my bad. So here we come up to the boss fog for the second to last boss of Balataria. His name is the Penetrator. As soon as you come through this gate, Bior is going to come to your aid. And uh, the Penetrator will trade aggro like between you and Bior. Like when you're hitting him with magic, he will try to come attack you instead. But it's pretty generous and uh, it's very, very easy to just kind of stay away from him and, and far cast him while he focuses on Bior. So uh, I'll just show you the, uh, the this here this here fight now. This will be the last we see of this guy. <laughs> the penetrator has one of the coolest armor sets in any game I've ever seen. And there's a secret door in this game that if you collect enough ceramic coins, you can actually get his armor set. I haven't done it yet. But see, he's immediately going for Bior. Look how easy this fight is. With Bior helping you. I first tried Penetrator on my first playthrough. Like, he's just not a hard boss anyway. Like, he can hit relatively hard, but his attacks aren't that hard to dodge, even with just a melee setup. But when his attention's on somebody else, it's just, it's trivial. 
One more demon downed. Thanks, Bior. Fine work back there. Then again, how could a demon ever stand up to a bona fide night? <laughs> now, you uh, go on ahead. I must be getting older. I need some rest. And then he goes and takes another nap. I love that guy. Hey, we have 69,000 souls. Nice. Silver demon soul. And that way takes us to the final stretch of uh, the palace and the uh, fight with old King Alant, but we're not doing that right now. Let's head back to the Nexus and spend some souls and also see if Sage Freak wants anything that we're holding on to. And then to wrap things up tonight, we're going to go and save Yuria. I can forge weapons. Hey, scimitar plus nine. Only need lots more stuff for plus ten. Do come back alive. So, sage freak. You have. So the silver demon soul gives us light weapon, which is buff your right hand weapon with magic damage. Uh, I'm not planning on buying any of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and save my souls for right now and then see what Yuria has to offer when we save her. Shall level up. Oh, I'll touch the demon within you. You better believe I will. Alright, cool. So now we will speak with Mr. Thomas. Uh, on us right now we have the official's cap, but we need to withdraw the official's clothes, gloves, and leggings. You have a heart of and then we'll just go ahead and equip those right now. <laughs> and yes, my character did just like do an evil laugh when I put on the hat. Or maybe it was the chest piece, I don't know. Yep, it's weird. The set looks pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. You, you look pretty fancy wearing the official's outfit. There's just something about the color purple. I think we all associate it with uh, regality. I, I do feel very regal wearing this. So we're just going to deal with these wolves really quick. I need to put my thief ring back on. Jesus Christ, when I quit out of the menu, that the bird's movement scared me. Silly me. It's just a bird. A harmless little bird. Alright. Cool. So now we'll head off to the side path that I mentioned before. And here we'll use the bloody iron key. That's what you need that for. So you can't even get into the beginning of the area without the key. Now if you come down this way, there is seemingly a dead end and an item. However, this is the hidden door that people discovered when this game was uh, first released back in November. And uh, if you turn the camera around and use camera mode, you can actually look around at what's back here. And people discovered that the only way to, to uh, get access to the Penetrator's armor set is to collect ceramic coins. The only way to collect ceramic coins is to play the game in Fractured mode. Fractured mode means that the game is identical, but it is horizontally flipped, making everything feel just so wrong. And I just haven't wanted to deal with that so far, um, because they also made it so that there's only two ceramic coins per world. There are five worlds, and you need 24 of them, I believe, which means you need to go to New Game Plus Plus to get all of them. Um, you don't need to play the whole game in Fractured Mode. What you can do is you can beat this level in fractured mode, or in uh, normal mode, and then load it up in fractured mode and go collect the coins, I believe, uh, once you know where they are. I just haven't messed with it yet. But then you can get the penetrator's armor set, so I, d I definitely should do that at some point. It looks so cool. So anyway, here's the tower where Yuria is being held hostage. And once you get up to the top floor here, the only way to gain access to the room she's in is to be dressed like an official, because she's being guarded by one. And so when he thinks that you're one of him, or one of them, uh, he'll lower the staircase for you. Here we 
we are. A couple of rings. Alright, and here's the official who is neutral because we are dressed like one of them. So we're just going to go ahead and take him out. Goodbye. So if you speak to Yuria like this, she'll be like, Oh no, please, leave me alone or whatever, because, you know, we look like one of them. So switch to your normal armor and then talk to her. Heavens, you... you... You came to save me. Thank you. No, I am fine. With a little rest, I can soon walk. God damn it. Every night. You go on ahead. I do not wish to be a dead weight. Every night, man, the alarm goes off. All right, so now Yuria will join us in the Nexus. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a Nexus or uh, what is it? Archstone shard. Yep. And she can be found on the same side as Sage Freak, but in the right corner over here. Hello again. You saved me from great agony. I am sorry, for I cannot offer proper thanks. But should you have demon souls, I can teach you magic. Only my witchcraft is of a dark nature and arouses suspicions. Why not try the magic of the great sage Freak? Been there, done that. Are you certain you wish to learn witchcraft? It would honor me to assist one such as you, but are you sure? All right, so oh, so ignite is the equivalent to combustion. It seems like from Dark Souls One, curse weapon, strengthen and curse right hand weapon with the soul of the penetrator, dragon demon soul, trade for firestorm, generate a huge storm of fire. That looks pretty dope. Might have to buy that. Uh, I don't have enough slots though, so we're gonna have to level up. Our um, our intelligence some more. I think two more levels ought to do it. I th I think. Let's see what we got for souls. The soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the no. Is that not enough? Vessel. Son of bitch. All right, let's do it again. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. There we go. So, art thou so if I want to use Firestorm, of course it's going to occupy all of my magic slots, so I wouldn't be able to use Soul Ray or Fire Spray. It would be just Firestorm. And it also costs 100 MP to cast, but... I've never used this in this game before, and I, I gotta try it. I gotta give it a try. Just want, I don't want to kill any NPCs by accident. Pretty cool. I'm trying to get a cool screenshot of this. Nice. Wow, look how much fucking MP that took. Wow. So I can only cast it once. Well, that's just not worth. It is not worth running around with a spell I can only cast once. And have to sip on some spice every time. Well, at least I tried it. But we're gonna we're gonna put that bad boy away. Jeez. Are you sure? Let's uh let's Go with Soul Ray, Fire Spray, and now I have a third slot to work with, so let's also go with... Hmm... I'll mess with Cloak, I guess. I haven't used Cloak before, either. Cool! That'll make it easier to just sprint through areas. Here's Bior, back in the Nexus, by the way. Do you intend to challenge the king? You may be a great demon hunter, but I fear you may not be ready. The king's defended by the black souls of mighty knights and a fire-breathing drake. They defeated even myself. 
That's how I ended up in the dungeon. Beware the limits of your own power. Ah, go on and take a nap, Bior. I'll be fine. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching. Demon Souls remake here on the old Tripwire channel. Hope you'll enjoy me for the next one. I'll see you then.